I've been designing logos for almost 10 years. When I started, I wasn't using grids. Bad news. Well, in this video, you'll learn how to design a professional geometric logo using the four type of grids. So before we start creating our professional geometric logo, we want to create the first type of grid, which is a base grid. So a base grid can be a square, isometric, hexagon, or even a golden ratio logo grid. And this is the type of grid that is created before the logo. So it's like the foundational layer. For this example, we're going to create a square base grid. There's many ways to create a square base grid in Adobe Illustrator. The easiest way to do it is go to view, show grid, and then it does this. But for this example, we're not gonna do that. I'm going to hide the grid. So another way is to click the rectangle grid tool. If this rectangle grid tool is hidden, you may see the line segment tool. You just want to click and hold, click on rectangular grid tool. So to use a rectangular grid tool, you can just click and then it shows you the dimensions you want. I'm going to leave mine as 88 and then I'm going to and make sure these numbers are the same as well. And then I'm going to click OK. So now we have our simple square base grid so I'm going to place this in the center before you start designing the logo on the grid you have to configure a few settings in Adobe Illustrator so in order for Illustrator to work with your mouse in terms of connecting your grid and the logo you want to go to view and then you want to turn on smart guides smart guides is very important showing you what's going to connect to your grid you want to turn that on I'll, I'll show you more um, about that in a few steps and then also you want to turn on snap to point which is very important because without this you can't connect to your grid which is going to be very weird so now you have both of the grid settings turned on you also have your base grid so that's the first step in creating your first type of logo grid which is the base grid so now you have the base grid you have the right grid settings you now just want to go to layers and you probably want to lock this layer and then create another layer on top so this just makes sure obviously you can't click the layer. So we have the base grid layer and we have the la the new layer that we're going to create the logo design on. Okay, so now we're going to create the logo and we can do this through using the pen tool or using the rectangle shape tool. I'm going to use the rectangle shape tool for this example. So in order to do this, you can just simply, let's say I want to click here. And then you can see the purple line snapping and you see where it says intersect and you can see the purple diagonal line that just makes it so much easier when you're creating a logo using um, adobe illustrator grids so i have my first shape here and then i just want to duplicate this and then i want to just drag that across and i want to drag it across again and you can see already it's starting to create a like instantly you can see the professional type of perfect geometric logo start to create in the past as i mentioned i didn't use grids and when i wasn't using grids it was just bad like my, my work didn't look professional until i remember the day like it was yesterday when i started using grids and everything just just changed my whole um work just changed so you can see now we have this q letter looking logo q slash uh -huh, um and it just looks very professional so the next step is i want to merge the logo so i want to unite the logo so now i've united the logo we have a logo that's all one shape so i'm now going to move on to the second type of grid that you want to create which is a construction grid Okay, so I've hidden the previous layer and now it's time to create a construction grid. So a construction grid is the type of grid you create after you design the logo. And the construction grid helps you with logo alignment and spotting any mistakes within a logo. Think of the construction grid as like an X-ray for logo design. There's two ways to create a construction grid. The first way is to do it manually when you select each point and then you would have to select each vector and then you'll have to recreate it and then drag it over like this and then do it like this and then again you do this and it does take a while this is a simple logo so it wouldn't take as long but then when you're recreating like anchor points and and stuff when you want to include it in presentations to show that your logo is perfect 
then it becomes very long so i can sit here and this will take me like 20 to 30 minutes for this logo but i don't want to waste your time so the other way to create construction grids is to use logo grid generator to do this we can go into windows extensions logo grid generator and now we have the tool here and what logo grid generator does is instantly create the construction grid so as soon as i do this then boom you see it's just like everything you can see the anchors the handles the outlines and the grid lines and already why you can see this tool is very useful is because as i've used the square tool i've seen that i have duplicate anchors that need to be removed but you can see the angles are perfect everything looks symmetrical so what i can do is go back and use the delete anchor point delete that delete that delete all of the extra stuff that doesn't need to be there and then again just make sure and you can see everything looks perfect again because this is a simple logo there isn't much refinement i have to do it except for remove the duplicate anchor points but you can see already using the first type of logo grid and then use um, which is the base grid and then using the construction grid again you are like doubling your accuracy because if you just use one type of logo grid it's going to be things that you you would miss when it comes to like alignment um, any errors and other issues so those are the two type of grids so far the next type of grid we want to use is a clear space grid okay now so i've hidden the construction grid and now it's just the logo by itself the beautiful professional geometric logo and i'm going to create a clear space grid so i'm just going to hide logo grid generator extension and what i'm going to do is use the rectangle tool again i'm going to create a new layer and with the rectangle tool i'm just going to copy this shape because i know it's a perfect square and i'm going to use this as a reference point for clear space so a clear space grid is also known as the safe zone around the logo is what you shouldn't put within the range of the logo and this just helps with um, the practicality and just making sure that it looks good and it just works well so there's been many times i've created a beautiful logo i've sent off to the client and they might have butchered it by just squashing it in the corner of a screen or adding too many things close to it so that's why you want to use a clear space grid so let's just change this to like a pink so we have this and then again i'm gonna do that again there and you can see how the smart guides are really really starting to help i'm going to place that there actually There's many ways to create a clear, sp clear space grid. I'm actually working on another tool to automate clear space, which should be out soon. So you can see it isn't too long to create a clear space grid, but it is a bit tedious because you have to do all of this fiddling with the grid. So you can create a clear space grid in two ways, taking one component within the logo and then duplicating it around the edge i actually want to bring this down um, because i feel like that's within the logo so i'm going to bring that down there so now we have the clear space grid and then of course when you're presenting it you can add if you've chosen the measurements you can add the, the numbers or you can just use the x's for this case, I'm going to use the X's because it wasn't a specific measurement, but it was rather just um, a shape. So this is the third type of grid you want to create, which is a clear space grid. Now I'm going to move on to the next type of grid known as a lockup grid. So a logo lockup is where you pair your logo mark and your logo type. There's many different type of lockups. There's a horizontal, vertical. It can be quite tricky to pair them, but we can create a logo lockup grid to help us pair a logo mark with a logo type. So it's now time to create your logo type. I'm going to create mine and skip ahead. Now we want to pair these two. So to pair them, this is a horizontal lockup, as you can see, because it's horizontal. And this would be a vertical lockup. But for this example, we're going to use a horizontal lockup. As we know what our clear space is for the logo, it would be something like this. Um, so we, we could do it like this. Just use that there just for reference and bring that there. 
So that's one way, just using the clear space, because we know that the clear space that we use is just this shape next to it. But another way is um, a lockup grid. To create a lockup grid, you can, let's create a new layer. So you can just take the top of the whole logo. So let's change this to a nice grid it blue. And then we go right to the bottom. And then what we can do is do it like this. You can actually kind of choose the measurements. Um, but I've actually seen a way that just works better. And I'm going to show you this. So you can create a lockup grid like this. And then you can just take this. And then you can do it like this. This does take, obviously you can see some time. It doesn't take too long. But a way that I have seen that just works a lot better is to, I made a script that you can just go to file scripts and then we horizontal lockup grid. And then you can see you have the lockup grid here. So um, boom, you can see it's connected. So I've included some algorithms that just work well when it comes to like the measurements. Um, so you can see it's not using the clear space, but it still, it still works. And then again, you can tweak how you want it. So say if you wanted a line if you wanted another measurement inside um, you can do it like this and let's do it like that but then you can see we have our logo so you can see the final type of grid lockup grid has allowed us to create an aesthetically pleasing professional logo that just works. So we've just used all four grids throughout our logo design process, starting with the base grid, which allowed us to create a balanced geometric logo from the ground up before using a construction grid to reveal the logo structure and then perfect it, followed by a clear space grid to give the logo some room for functionality and then finishing with a lockup grid to pair the logo mark with the logo type. You can grab the Logo Grids core kit completely free. It includes a ready to use Logo Grid template and my mastering Logo Grids in Adobe Illustrator ebook. Just check the link in the description to download it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.